what time did you get here? Ah, nine o'clock. Oh. Nine. Nine. Maybe the, maybe see, the, the, the accent is not allowing it to come out properly. Nine o'clock is when I arrived here. And when I got here at nine o'clock, I expected to see you with before 11. You weren't here at 11. I, pro I promised a friend, I said, oh, by two o'clock you'll be here. Two o'clock came, you wasn't here. By the time four has come, my, I'm tired, I'm sweating, my body is tired, my legs, I've done Joho, 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 Joho all night. I've heard that sake all night, I've heard whiskey all night, but I've not seen you here. Whiskey, you are very wicked. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Come stadium. We pay 2.5. What what time did you come here? I came here around seven o'clock uh, in the in the evening. Up to five o'clock now, expecting whiskey to come and then perform. No whiskey. We just we can't play music for us. What what we did? After all the money, the tickets I, I, I took to come and then watch show. There were a lot of dignitaries who came to the show because it's West Kid who is doing the show, so you should expect a lot of dignitaries. A lot of people came from far and near to come to Whiskey's show. Apart from the common floor members who came from Kaswa and all the people. <laughs> I, sorry, sorry, but still. Apart from the normal Ghanaians who came from all those places from their houses to come and see Whiskey. A lot of prominent people like Overwise, Chenda was there, Nana Bedi Ako, and a lot of other people. In fact, they say they are certain celebrities who are in Ghana coded because of some of the shows that were happening in December. No? They were at the event, but, but they were hiding. This is how Cheddar and uh, um, Overwise came to the show. Watch this video. Hey, wait till. Overwise. Overwise. Hey, welcome, blood. <laughs> Big ass boss, you're you. welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what are your expectations Bye. for tonight? No, I just thought I would just pass through and give a great support to Whiskey. He's one of the biggest African acts, and you know, I respect him, I love him, man. Not to say I don't love the rest, I love you all. Ah, uh, that's what's up. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. <laughs> so they just drove these expensive cars to just come to the stadium to come and listen to Whiskey's song. They should have stayed at home and played it. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter. I, just, um, I don't know how to even start this, but 
I woke up being cooked by my previous tweets ahead of the Wizkid Live Accra concert and deservedly so. What's cooking without a sauce? Here's what happened from my point of view, literally. Okay, this event had a lot of promise on paper. Although an overly ambitious attempt to do what, um, what hasn't been done yet in the history of events in this country, the fiasco can't be fully blamed on the organizers. Some of the subcontractors let him down. One of them was ticketing. Hmm. Per the mode of securing a ticket, one was to receive an email with a barcode and unique ID number after payment. Not all did, which means not all received those things. Okay. And even for those who did, they had a lot of issues with knowing where they actually belonged. Lots of VIPs and gold circle ticket holders were mixed up. Others ended up at the platinum ends and enjoyed benefits ahead of those who actually paid for that experience. I'm talking, um, I'm talking about people who had paid thousands of dollars not getting a table or even a seat. A lot of people at the gates who had like VIP or regular, they didn't know where this one will pass, where this one will pass. And because of that, some people who have paid like $8,000 for a platinum table, they couldn't get a place because some people who didn't even buy platinum table made their way to where the platinum tables were and they enjoyed some goodies. Hmm. For some of these areas where you could get a service as free as getting bottomless drinks and water, it didn't happen. People had to pay again for these same things that were originally part of the package choice. So you would pay, um, let's say, you, you pay for platinum or gold. Thousands of dollars. And you're supposed to get a bottomless drinks. You're supposed to get water. You're supposed to get a lot of things. People who paid for those services did not get it. And because of that, some people had to use their own money to buy these things when it was part of their package. Hmm. Twasso. This I would hold Live Hub accountable heavily on organization, orientation, and communication. With the kind of target they were looking to achieve in selling an experience rather than any mere music concert, it was absolutely unfortunate. Hmm. The delay in confirmation emails and fans having to prove that they had paid or accredited event passes for crew was stressful and tiring, although resolved at the end. Hmm. Okay, the stage and set design didn't live up to expectation. The whole idea was to have a stage design with the fans in mind, where no matter where the fans sat, the performer and fan co uh, connection would not be lost. Although a near-perfect implementation compared to the 3D design or animation that I saw, let's just say things didn't go according to plan. Hence, my deleted tweet about the stage being in the same conversation as global citizen. Hmm. The stage was such a way that you had to move around and entertain people at certain places. But the way the thing was, all the fans were gathered at one side of the stage. And because of that, all the entertainers that came to perform were performing at only that side of the stage to where the fans were. So the people who have paid for gold tickets and VIP and other things, you know, they were not getting attention from the artists. Only a few dancers came and they had to go and perform here and then they come here and come and perform. The show was originally slated to kick off at 7 p.m. and end at 12 p.m. prompt. Gates were open at 4 p.m. Unfortunately, it didn't start until after 10.30 p.m. with last minute opening the night. Word had gone out that the late start of the show would mean Whiskey would be coming on at 2 a.m. <laughs> Yao told Asaka boys Jackie Daku vibes, my heroes on the night, legit gave patrons a run for their monies um, with their performance in the midst of the painful wait. Kojo Manuel, as usual, did what he had to do, but for how long? Kojo Manuel is being dragged on Twitter because what? Any small time, five minutes, ten minutes. Are you mad? Are you Are you also mad? <laughs> uh, his signature is, are you mad? But at this point, he was saying it on stage and people were already mad.
mad at the fact that West Kid is not coming and they are late. Now you are asking them, are they mad? Are you mad? <laughs> Yo, and fast. Fans waited in between time to buy time as um, their patience continued to run out. A number of dead moments and still no signs of West Kid. Now it's almost 1 a.m. and people were leaving. Some sold their tags, others for free. They gave it out for free. Some didn't make it out with their phones um, on their way out. Some question boys were there taking people's phones from them. <laughs> Security was solid on all grounds, although a few lapses. Number of arrests were made and a few on-site assaults witnessed here and there. Car parking was relatively good and access routes to VIPs were near perfect. So why didn't Whiskey show up? This is what I know. It's alleged that as part of contractual agreement, the stadium was part of the must be filled up clause. Basically, the obligation of the organizer was to make sure that the stadium was full or almost full before Westgate will perform or to have Westgate perform. Okay, so although Westgate had come to town for a sole purpose of the concert, word had gotten to him about the true situation on the ground. The one question that started going around was, if you were Westgate, would you show up? My sources tell me that some unscrupulous persons were in direct contact with Whiskey cooking all sorts of untrue and inaccurate stories about the situation and even advised him not to show up because his brand was too big for this fiasco. Unfortunate if you ask me. It was at this very at moment, this moment some of us knew, knew he fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Alatai, <laughs> Alatai, you. It was at this moment at this very moment, some of us knew he wasn't going to show up. Some of us who stayed longer received intel that Whiskey's big surprise for the night were Chris Brown and Popcorn. Whiskey had planned to bring Chris Brown and Popcorn on stage, but now they didn't even get Whiskey at all. <laughs> we were looking forward to that greatly, but of course, the former clause denied that. Okay. These surprises were to fly down into the country on the night of the concert and be brought on stage with Whiskey, then jet off right after. But of course, the laboring question would be re-echoed. If you were Whiskey, would you do that? I wish I could go on and on, but the ink in my pen would only let me come this far. I'm still, you are, you are very, very dramatic. You are typing the thing. This one, what has ink got to do with it? <laughs> what has ink got to do with it? I'm still not recovered from last night's sorrow. I may hop on a space or two to share my uh, to share more in detail. Hopefully, a space powered by Three Music Network, or better yet, rest it out for Culture Day tomorrow. Okay. However, I hope this serves as a big lesson to live up and any Ghanaian concert startup organization. There's absolutely nothing wrong with dreaming big, but know your market and scale up gradually as you grow. Also. Work with the right people, tried and tested people. Also, for some of the organizing vendors who were paid to add to the experience and failed porously at it, you should be bowing your head in shame. You are not exempted from the gross disappointment. Don't be crying foul when people go for the white folks to, um, to get shit done. This was an event organized by Africans and for Africans backed by a ridiculously hefty budget. Every ideation on paper was backed with the needed funds. Everything is possible when you have money, right? But last night was another masterclass that money alone isn't enough. I was on coverage duty as a journalist, but I, did, uh, but I didn't feel like one last night. I look at the investment and the fans who actually bought tickets and both parties, that's the organizers and the fans, not getting the money's worth, it broke me. Hmm. Not a day to forget. After 20 plus years, the journey to fill up our stadia in Ghana with our music concerts continues. Best of luck to the team at Live Hub. A few loose ends need tightening and they just may be in the same conversation with Afro Nation and Global Citizen. This is what Olele Salvador came to post. Now, this organization or this show was put together by Live Hub. These are the organizers. Live Hub. So, Live Hub Entertainment organized this and they outsourced some of the things. 
they actually worked with some of the people who worked on the global citizen project so does that mean that if a brony comes to give you a job you will do it but if a bibini is giving you the job you will not what is going on now this is the ceo of live hub his name is chris okante jr they posted this on their instagram they said dear live hub nation whiskey breached his contractual obligation last night we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience cause we will issue full refunds to all who paid for their tickets please send your barcode to the live hub info at gmail.com thank you management now with this that they've written no people look at this guy and they look at his picture and the fact that he has a bald head and they are saying that all the bald head people in ghana are the people disappointing ghanaians look at baumia look at ken Uforiata. look at our president nana akufad look at Hey, Alatai, he's not bad. <laughs> Alatai, please, don't find trouble for me. He's not bad. So, the, the, and they are saying he doesn't look like somebody who will refund. A lot of people, they are dragging him. This is sad. By the end of the day, they have promised to do a refund. And we hope they will refund people's monies to them. This is the full yawa that happened at the Whiskey concert. Watch other videos on this channel. Share your views. Let me know what you think about all this. Let me know what you think. We are ready to read. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah,